Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So this one is a little different. Today, ladies and gentlemen, with my brand new shiny gold casket, I bring you loot from 1000 Urium Shades. Purchasing these 1000 Urium Shades in the Grand Exchange for 4.1 million GP and then after that we're going to be combining them with 1000 Redwood Pyre Logs which we got for 2.1 million GP. The goal for this video is to basically burn all the shades, see how much gold we can make per hour profit wise and also see how much experience we can get per hour. I'm not sure how long this 1000 will take but I'm very excited for you guys to see the results. So let's go ahead and get started right after these words from our sponsor today raid shadow legends so let me tell you a secret a secret about a hidden gem a free hidden gem something that costs you nothing but makes your entire life millions of times better it also happens to be the greatest mobile game of all time raid shadow legends raid has a ton of champions over 600 now and all of these champions come from unique factions each with their own history in the world of Teleria. use my links below to download raid or scan my qr code so you can try this game out yourself whether you want to use your PC or mobile device. The newest boss coming to raid is the biggest and craziest thing yet. You guys are going to love this. This thing is a Hydra with multiple different heads. Each one is a complete boss battle all on its own. It sounds crazy, so let's see what we're up against. First we have the Head of Blight, which is all about poison. It poisons you, it leeches you, and it protects itself with a poison cloud. Moving on, we have the Head of Torment, which is terrifying. Then we have the the head of mischief which loves your buffs and wants them all for itself then we have the head of wrath which is a super angry damage dealer we have the head of decay which is about tearing you down and building up allies finally we have the head of suffering now what i truly love about this game apart from that incredible hydra update is the constant new updates in general daily rewards and the dedication to the quality of graphics and gameplay sometimes games seem to falter over time well ladies and gentlemen raid is growing and thriving as time goes by and if the biggest, baddest boss in the entirety of mobile games isn't enough for you, there is more. Raid's also giving away a super limited edition champion to every player in the game. Some of you may recognize him already. It is the esports legend and Navi superstar, Simple. Between now and January 28th, 2022, Simple's limited edition champion is available for free to both new and old players in Raid. All you have to do is log in for 7 days between now and January 28th and he's yours. There's seriously never been a better time to get started. Hit the link in the description below or scan my QR code and you'll receive an epic champion, Rector Drath. 200,000 silver, 1 energy refill, and 1 XP booster, as well as an ancient shard so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get into the game. All of this treasure will be waiting for you here, and the rewards will only be available for the next 30 days for new players. And a big thank you to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. Alright, well, getting back into today's video, uh, 1,000 Urium Shades, 1,000 Redwood Pyre Logs, and 6.2 mil spent overall. So the starting prayer xp as well was 19.3 million and the starting fire making xp was just about 25.2 million and using this fancy golden casket i will be able to store 28 urium shades in it per trip and as it goes for my inventory i would always need that tinder box to set fire to the remains and later on in the video i did bring a crafting cape in my inventory as well for quick banking but for the most part i was just using a ring of dueling or a charge glory uh, just to save inventory space one thing that I wished uh, was that earlier on I should have not had a group XP on, but I can just tell you now that each remain that I burned was about 180 prayer XP and 750 fire making XP. Now that sounds like a lot because it is, and uh, on an hourly scale I was getting about 170k fire making XP, 40k prayer XP, and about 225 of these shades burned per hour. The process of burning these shades is pretty simple. I actually got inspired to do this video because of my girlfriend and I's group Iron Man account. We've been burning a lot of shades recently and at a lower level, shades of Morton burning the shades in general can really benefit your account, obtaining multiple different colored keys and opening chests to receive black, mithril, adamant, and rune and dragon items. So if you ever use world 377, you will definitely see a lot of the majority of people here are lower levels or mid-level accounts. Don't really see too many max mains here. 
So some of these items that you can unlock from these chests are a huge upgrade to certain Iron Man accounts, and as it goes for the main accounts, not so much, although there is Zayalot, which I will discuss later on in the video, and also scrolls that can unlock uh, certain things, but I will be talking about that later as well. But for this video, out of all the shades that I could have done, I wanted to test the most expensive, the highest level, and with the biggest rewards, which is none other than the Urium shade. I was brand new at this, so you guys will see some collection log uh, dropdowns, of course, with certain drops that I did receive. But it is important to note that in order to cremate these shades, you do need 95 fire making. So that is a very high requirement. These days, you can get 95 fire making in a week of winter tot, so it's not really that high of a requirement. It just takes a little patience to get there. And a fun fact about this shade that I learned while doing this video is that it was released into the game January 27, 2021, and all the other shades in the game were released October of 2004. You can really see the difference in loot compared to the Urium shade and all the other shades before it. And a cool thing that you will see throughout this video is not only all the loot and price checking to see the hourly rate of profit, but you'll also see some elite clue scrolls since it is a 1 in 144 chance to get them from these golden keys. Other untradables that you can get would be the full Zayalot set, which is about 1 in 128 per piece if you're using the uh, golden keys. And this set is just used strictly for prayer. It's not the most uh, stylish set of clothing, but it does give you a 1.25% chance to prevent bones or ensouled heads from being consumed while training prayer. So if you wear the full set, then you have a 5% chance, which is pretty good if you're going to be training prayer with it. On average, uh, the wiki says it takes about 512 gold keys to obtain the full set, and for me, using about 1,000 remains, I expect to definitely get over 500 golden keys, so hopefully we'll see that full set uh, before the end of the video. One thing that I did encounter while opening up these chests was a box who goes by the name of Voldy616, and it looks like he was using full Guthans here. Um, according to my calculations, he's been here for about five days straight still. He uses the clan chat of Shades of Morton along with a couple other bots that I've noticed. So it is important to note that there are bots down here. Looks like they're just killing the Shades, and I don't know how much they're making per hour, but I want to say that Sir Pugger did a mention on them in a recent video of his, so it is kind of interesting. I don't think that they'd get banned much down here, since, since if you do this in any other world other than 377, it is pretty empty most of the time. So I did want to make sure that I got the hourly rate figured out for you guys after an hour of doing it. I wanted to test the XP that I got and I did mention in the beginning of the video that it was 170k fire making and 40k prayer. Overall in that one hour I did spend about almost 1.3 mil on the uh, 225 shades and 225 logs that I used. Not only obtaining Zayalot boots and 374,000 coins but we also got a ton of alkables and a lot of resource items and uh, overall the profit it, looking at the first price check 1.45 mil plus 520k means that we made just about 700k profit in one hour i mean just obtaining all these items getting a bunch of fire making xp and prayer xp and of course the zayalot boots and just for good measure i figured i'd show the rune light loot as well but uh, it's just incredible to see because you know making profit while getting xp and especially a decent amount of profit is uh, really nice especially in shades of morton i would have never guessed that you can make money in that area but you learn new things all the time and this was my first time ever doing the Urium shades and I'm really glad I did. It's definitely a new experience and it was nice to unlock the swamp bark spell as well as the blood bark spell and all the other uh, achievement things that you can get here. I mean, this did require a ton of clicking. I was also on multiple accounts, and I found that averaging 225 shades an hour was only if I could have all the focus on my main. Every click and every second mattered, so if you're more into AFKing, then this probably wouldn't be your favorite thing to do. But it's just nice that you get fire making and prayer XP and profit just from burning shades. And you, you know, the elite clue scrolls are just the icing on the top. I mean, there really are tons of weapons and armor pieces ranging from a mithril plate skirt all the way to a rune plate body, from an adamant spear all the way to a dragon longsword or mace. And these drops are all nice to see because they really do increase that price check. As a matter of fact, the fine cloths, which you'll see quite a lot of since it's 1 in 6 here, are at an astounding price of 7.7k. And I actually didn't think they were tradable, so I was surprised to see that in the price check, but uh, they are used to make split bark and all the bark armor, I think. So, you know, it is uh, probably going to maintain that price for a while. One drop that I did forget to pick up uh, in the price check towards the end was the golden locks because I had already purchased one before the video. Uh, that is probably hard 
hard to get as an Ironman account. You just have to be lucky. You can't just purchase those, and that is how you create the casket. But they are a 1 in 61 drop rate uh, at around 18K GP each. So you will eventually get them if you do commit to these chests for at least a couple inventories. I also have the Amulet of the Damned. Uh, it's a nice drop you'll see here as well. It's been in the game almost 8 years, and it's 1 in 24 from the Golden Key chest. So I'm really looking forward to seeing those stack up, as well as, you know, Dragonstone rings, cut Dragonstones, and uh, there's just a lot of things that you can get from these shades. Little advice is if you're going to be doing this, you might want to pray melee because there are zombies that occasionally pop out and attack you, but they don't really damage you too much. Uh, and since you're just opening the chest, that's the quickest part of all of this, honestly. It's really just burning that takes a long time to do the animation and all the repetition involved as well. It's really just the burning of the shades that's going to be most of your time spent. But opening the keys is one of the quickest parts. And it's one of the funnest parts, honestly, too, because you get to see all the drops accumulate in your inventory. Luckily enough for me, I was able to obtain the full Zayalot set, so that was really nice to see. I'm not a huge fan of the graphics, but it is a really useful set of armor, especially related to prayer. So if I ever do prayer in the future, I'm sure I will be equipping it. So overall, loot from 1,000 shades has been completed. 1,000 Urium shades, to be more specific. We spent 6.2 million GP on everything that was needed for this video. So let's go ahead and price check everything. We have all the cloth in this inventory, all the dragon, rune, adamant, and mithril items all the spears as well the spears are really just not the best thing to see but all that included the battle staves as well 6.7 million 6.7 million from the first price check and now we move on to all the hammers the scrolls the amulet of the dams all the coins and the dragon stones ladies and gentlemen 3.2 mil coming in from this price check meaning that if we do 6.7 mil plus 3.2 mil it ends up being 9.9 .9 mil overall which means 3.7 mil profit and four and a half hours 750,000 fire making xp 150,000 per xp two elite clue scrolls and full zealot obtained i mean it really doesn't get much better than that you know a lot of clicking obviously not the most entertaining thing in the world but you have a good show on in the background maybe doing some afk things on other accounts um you know this is worth maybe looking into if you want to get some fire making xp a little per xp and guaranteed profit unless this video somehow crashes the prices of these items which i doubt that will happen uh then maybe the hourly GP is subject to change, but for now, this is a very good money-making method. No combat, just a lot of clicking, and you will get some XP for it as well. All that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you with uh, loot from 10 hours of the new Revenant's Scold probably tomorrow night. Until then, Mr. No Sleep, out.